Voice warm-ups. Welcome. The first thing I like doing is focusing on breath pressure, facilitating trust of the breath. Less is more. It's via straw foundation. What you'll need, a little glass like this with a little bit of water and a straw, and you're going to set a little bit of the straw in the water, and with the following pitches, you're going to blow small bubbles into it. So the next thing we're gonna do, I like to call a frontal hum. We're gonna stay in the same key center. Um, you can always do a different set of pitches if it makes you more comfortable. A little bit of information about what to do with your tongue. First of all, make sure that the bottom of your teeth and the top of your tongue are touching very slightly. With the remainder of your tongue, try it to make it as puffy as possible if you were to have your mouth open. And it felt like you were talking at carbon. That's probably closer to what you're looking for. And then the last thing is to allow the jaw to feel like it's open, even though the lips are not open. So we're creating this humming sound. If this even feels confusing, think of the word meh, just to help that tongue come up. So that being said, we're going to stay with this key center and start on one. And we're just going to move in step motions. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. You can also go through this faster. Sometimes I like to use hand motions as I move just so that I have a sense of attention to keep going forward through the sound and not pull back. And so it's just giving it a thread. Feel free to do this several times just to get used to the feeling. It's not about the pitch, it's actually about feeling a consistent placement right in the front here, almost like the space is living behind your nose. If it feels kind of like it's feeling a little off, you can always sing mia. Mia, 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 mia. And then close the mouth again. So you just want that nice glided legato through all those different notes. Once you're used to the step motions of that, you've kind of exhausted it slightly, feel free to slide from one up to five, back to one. And throw other intervals. thing that we're going to do is move on to our vowels. My favorite thing to remember about vowels is to keep 
an independence between the tongue and the jaw when we're creating vowels, as in the jaw can stay in one position and the tongue and the upper hard palate and soft palate can be navigating more of the distinctions between vowels. So we're gonna start with five simple vowels. E, A, A, O, U. Allow the tongue to feel brighter for that E sound. Let it move slightly back, almost like a little wave as you're going through all five. E, A, A, O, U. Real quick, check to make sure the front of your tongue is on the bottom teeth and it stays there throughout all five vowels. Also check to see if your jaw is staying in the same position as you're going all the way through. You'll notice on O and O, there's a little bit of pursing that will happen with your lips and cheeks to help create that sound. E, A, A, O, U. E, A, A, O, U. Take that next thing you want to be able to sing this. Next one we can do ni me ma mo mu and adding the M. Quick little intro about the M, making sure that you have your front lips very lightly helping you with the M. There's no need for any extra movement. You could even localize it to the top lip versus using both lips. Ni me ma mu mu. This is just staying intact. The lips and the tongue are doing the work. Another helpful combination of vowels is to combine ah with a. Uh. So ah as in father, a uh as in brother. And what we're trying to do is toggle back and forth between the two so that we get a very sharp distinction between the subtlety of those vowels. Spoken spoken, ah, uh, ah, 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 ah. extremely subtle, but spending time with it is really nice. Another one is uh, a quick nasality check to create a distinction between a uh and ng, which ng, instead of trying to use your jaw for that, try to think about the fact that the tongue is kind of helping create that ng sound. Uh, A final one that I really appreciate is the A ah, ah vowel. It's one of my favorites. It's very bright. It helps me rem remember a lot of these areas. So I want to go between A ah and A, ah, almost like a Canadian A, ah, back to A. Ah. So let's go with this pitch, the third. You want this distinction between a ah and a a a a a a a. Let the tongue do the work between those two. We're going to move on to consonants now. Um, they're really nice to warm up. Uh, the first one would be B and M. 
beam, 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 beam. So when we talked about M and having the sound of upper lip helping the most with creating that M sound, we can also consider B and M being in the same territory. Beam, 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 beam. Beam, 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 beam. So the tongue is actually sitting very puffy in the front. Beam, 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 beam. It's very light. You can kind of consider it being a little bit quiet as you sing it. Here we go. Beam, 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 beam. Another one to consider, my favorite to focus on are, are N and L because they're rather intrusive. They love to cloud vowels. And similar to how we were practicing vowels in such a way to make sure that the tongue does all the work and the jaw does not, Ns and Ls have a very similar mechanism. And so to liberate our tongue from this, we want to consider just pronouncing in, L. In, il. So you're keeping the jaw in a consistent place and you're really interviewing the tongue to see what, what is the tongue doing. In, il. In, il. Both of them have a little bit of tongue movement. So as we're singing pitches with this, we're considering maintaining that awareness that we do as we speak optimally. So... A favorite exercise that I really, really love doing before anything is, is certain ah sounds to really activate this cheek area to make sure the sound really is coming out this way and not going in this way. Uh, my, f my two favorites are mia and wah. So here we go. We're going to make sure and do mias. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Mostly for the sake of just giving it permission. Let it be dirty. Let it be messy. It's supposed to be messy. This is needing relaxation to activate. Meow, 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 meow. It's really lazy. The face is kind of drunk. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. the better bleh. very the tongue that's kind of what we're looking for wah ah right so gross the grosser the better wah 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 
Wa 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 Thanks so much for joining me on Vocal Warm-Ups. I hope that your voice feels much more aware, much more permissed, and much more willing to experiment on all sorts of new sounds that you haven't even made yet. Thank you.